Yes, digital product family. I hope you guys are well. Guys, today I'm looking at 10 fantastic digital waller printable ideas that you should get into right now. Let's get into that sub niche in the waller, fantastic waller niche that everybody says is saturated. But I'm going to give you some fantastic sub, 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 sub niches that you can get into and get that fantastic passive income right now. So if you do love digital products, you love creating, selling, researching, and all of that mad stuff, guys, please hit a like, subscribe, smash that notification bell, and don't forget to share, because I just want you to share, guys, because that's what we do, right? Anyways, check this out. So, listen, let me just say something, right? When you got a fantastic niche that makes so much money, right, the important thing to do is, is to sub-niche. If you keep sub niching in a place where everybody's looking, then that's how you get money, right? That's why I keep saying sub, 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 sub. I say it all day long, sub niche, right? And if you don't say it in this video, I'm going to say it in the next one. Go into these fantastic digital product niches, but make sure that you go deeper into it. Get those more, more of those keywords, long tail keywords, and sub niche into it, right? You'll see all my videos. I've gone through it. Today, I'm going to look at 10 fantastic wall art printable ideas that you could do right now that are profitable that are quite recent as well that you can do and sell on etsy so let's start with the first one so the first one on the list now remember we've got to take into account the time of year right this is this is a set of printable halloween right vintage paintings printables right now, look, I keep saying it. It's about ingredients. Get those ingredients, guys, because it's all about the combination. We, we, it's about combining. So I'll give you an idea. Like right now, time of doing this video, Halloween is coming up, right? It's, it's almost here. Halloween and that autumn and that, and that fall. The, or the leaves are gone orange. It's autumn. It's fall, right? In this, when something comes up, that seasonal time of year, that's when you should be gearing towards your designs for that. So whatever niche you're looking at, gear towards that. So in this case, this is a prime example, right? I'll give you the combo is is, is crazy because it makes it will make sense. Look, people are looking for Halloween stuff when it comes to Halloween, right? What things are involved in Halloween? Well, things are like, you know, things that come to mind. Think about things that come to mind. You got the autumn, you got the trees, you can see these trees here, you got the spookiness, you got the witches, you got ghosts. Now, so what you do is you don't just you just sub niche within the sort of Halloween autumn theme. So in this case, this seller is doing ghosts. So all they've done a set, and remember set sell, bundle sell, right? So you do a little set of different types of ghost related wall art printables right and there's another angle to this which is that farmhouse kind of landscape theme that they've done in that autumn feel in that vintage style so there's lots of elements that are involved in this right because these are the things that people actually want and look for right and and they've combined everything on this which, which is fabulous they've combined it all and and it and it and it creates a fantastic mix of something that works right and it works so sets work, as in bundles work. Halloween is coming, so that's going to be looked for. It's a vintage style. People like the vintage style. You're drilling down a sub niche within Halloween, which is the ghosts. And ghosts is something that people also look for. So this is how you combine it. Look, it's 12 plus in a basket. Boom. It's a bestseller. Boom. How much is it making? Let's check this out very quickly. Check it out, man. It's making $12,000 per month which is crazy one month old listing guys this is what i'm trying to say you can get your recent listings and uh and you can start making that cash you know for something that's a one month old listing right that's fabuloso right there's no other word for it 731 monthly sales right 731 sales it's made 2161 favorites crazy right so it's a 50% off sale actually for the next 11 hours. So at the moment it's not making that. Um, but so take the sale into account. But still, 
it's it's unbelievable now look i'm using everbee just to analyze a little bit more check out all the links in my description for everything i use and then what i do is i like to go into certain keywords or i want to see what they're listing for what are the keywords that they're looking for what they're doing so look ghost painting ghost painting is actually a decent keyword score 416 people actually see on a search bar on etsy and actually search for ghost painting so competition is 9350 that's not too bad actually that's not too bad and then obviously gallery wall set everyone loves their gallery wall sets uh, they also help it as well. There's even Farmhouse for Halloween that's got something. So when you like, when you try and um, even if they're low scores, but you're combining these lots of low scores, it, it helps create a really good volume where you can be seen. And it's about trying to hit different keywords, right? At the same time. And then obviously, like I said, my other videos, get all those keywords, the good ones in your title and your listing, right? But that's, that's for another day. Check out my videos on SEO. Anyways, so the next one is, this is interesting. The Japanese Matsumoto Hoji Frog Wall Art Set. Mad one. Check it. People look for this, you know. People look for this. This is a set. Now, although this is a... Um, this is something that, that people can buy. They will print it for you and send it. But this can very easily be transferred into a kind of uh, printable, right? Something that be, can be created as a printable that you could possibly do maybe in mid-journey. But this is what it is, right? It's uh, It makes... This is a one-month-old listing again. It's making 1920 That's not too shabby, guys. 16 monthly sales, guys. And look, the reason why I say it's a decent one is because... This is what tells me it's decent. When I look at the kind of tags that it has, it has a fantastic keyword tag of Japanese frog prints. Now, Japanese frog prints um, is, is a really, really big keyword. So anybody that's creating something on Japanese frog prints, I think can do very well on this because the keyword score is fabulous. So this is what I'm trying to say. And then obviously they got Japanese um, and they got the Jap Japanese frog prints also. Let me just check this very quickly. Japanese frog prints. Yeah, they got the Japanese frog prints on the title as well, obviously, to help it get listed, right? And all it is is these Japanese frog prints, which you can see. Now, obviously, like I said, these themselves are, are created and sent to the customer, but you could easily do a printable for this kind of style, okay? Um, and again, set of three. Remember, sets of three, people like sets of threes also generally for wall arts, right? Actually, from now also, they're starting to like bigger sets. But sets of three are like a standard decent one that people like. Okay. Anyways, let's check out the next one. The next one is, again, it's the autumn autumn sort of feel. And again, look, it can be even simple. It doesn't have to be a ghost or kind of like a dark theme. Look, you got three pumpkins on one wall art. You got Hello Fall and you got leaves. And that's it. But that's Okay. It's okay because it works, you know, because it's the tones. Look at these nice orange brown tones. It, you know, it sits really well. And I like the wall arts that gives you an idea of how it can sit in the home. Again, in the autumn feeling when the leaves are brown and orange outside and you've got these beautiful wall arts inside that are reflecting what's on the outside. It creates a fantastic atmosphere, guys. And remember, it's got a nice little video. Remember videos, make sure you have a video on your listing because it helps with conversion. I'll say it all day, every day, just so until you do it. <laughs> yeah. So how much is this making? Look, it's a bestseller. It's got 10 views in the last 24 hours. It's uh, It's got a sale on it. At the moment, it's making approximately $587. It's a two-month-old listing. Not too shabby, guys, for a little... Um, for something that you know you could produce very very quickly and you know look the reason why it's doing you know decently is it's got an autumn and autumnal people search for autumnal art print right autumnal or halloween poster right these are the kind of things that modern fall print because when the time of year comes then people start searching for a specific type of wall art for the t for the season that's what happens guys you got to know this that's why when you do wall art think about what's coming is christmas coming next and don't do it like now. You've got to do it way before the time comes. So I'll do it months before I'll get it listed. So if Christmas is coming, you do four months before Christmas and you get that wall art on your listing. Because as t as people start looking, people look for gifts and stuff like that early, like real early. So you've got to be quick, guys. You've got to be quick and also get the algorithm to favor you. Because once it sees that, okay, you've got something there, it starts pushing you up before everybody else because everybody else is going to jump on this bandwagon i'm telling you so you gotta be quick 
That's what it is because Etsy gets busy, real busy. Now, here's another one for you. Again, remember I told you about the sets. Now, this is slightly different. This is like the Christian gallery set of nine. I can imagine this actually, these kind of scriptures, um, Bible verses, that kind of thing. I can imagine this also because there's a link there with Christmas. So I can imagine this becoming even more popular in terms of Christmas time, you know, as Christmas approaches. So for this one, again, it's a set. It's got this, you know, beautiful landscapes as well. It's got different verses as part of the wall arts as well, you know. Um, and that's it. That's what it is. It's that combination of that beautiful landscape, that watercolor style. Again, that the verses, Christian verses from the Bible, that kind of thing. So that sometimes that religious kind of theme, especially when it comes to a specific time of year, like Christmas is coming, you know, it can work. And it's a really good, it's about ingredients. I keep saying it, like getting those combinations. So when you sub niche, you're sub niching into kind of the religious Christian sort of element because Christmas is coming up with, with the kind of Christmas season that's coming. See, the, see that mix that happens. And then you've got the verses. So it's about, it's about having the right ingredients at the right time. Bestseller, 20 plus in a basket, boom. It's a printable. These are printables, guys. All right, let's see how much it's making. Guys, this is making $7,834 a month. What a crazy. Look at that. Oh, I can't. I didn't even realize it was that much. <laughs> I did my research and that is amazing. That is amazing. So what you want to do is you want to be like 157 monthly sales, 965, so six month, so six month old listing, 92 reviews. Um, damn, that's really good. Reviews per month, 15. Whew, that is a real cool one, man. So let's check this out. Let's go. Let's look at this. This is why. This is why. Guys, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Um, they've got certain keywords that are there, right? You can see them here. Um, and this is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. Anything to do with Bible verses, people are there is a search for these kind of things, these keywords. And that's what I'm saying, you know? That's what you're hitting the marks. When you get a keyword score of 240 and you got volume of 273 and only a competition of 1,124 and you have that same kind of, you have that, you have that same keyword in your title, you're going to get seen. Like, you're going to get seen. Look, the keyword there is there. Then anything that also relates also will be there, uh, is there. Um, so what I'm trying to say is having the right keywords with the right volume and the right unsaturation where, the, where you're able to rank goes a long way, right? So it's about reverse engineering. Find something that you can rank in or get yourself seen then do the design around it anyway let's go for the next one so check this out guys i keep saying it these these portraits right these are like more custom right these are custom portraits so if somebody gives you a picture you can create a watercolor style to this if you see my video on um, how i created a house into a watercolor style because that was also quite popular and also very profitable the custom market in the wall art niche is big real big um, I've also did a pet portrait as well. So look, it's big. So if you can spend a little bit of time and, and, and give it a little bit of energy and to do this, it can go a long way, you know, and especially mid journey, get yourself a good software, Photoshop, and then you can actually create these through AI, ni nice watercolor that reflects exactly the kind of feel that the customer wants. Again, they can make real cash, you know, guys, real cash, you know, people give you a picture. All it is is giving you a picture. And you can transfer that picture into a watercolor style, a vintage style, whatever it is that they want. But it really, honestly, it they do really well. Look, it's in demand. It's another bestseller. I mean, this one's going at $30 because I I, I believe they might create it uh, themselves. It's a 4,900 estimated monthly revenue. It's only a three-month-old listing, right? Right, personalized watercolor portraits, guys. I mean, that's definitely an angle that I think that's a, a like a year-round thing. That's always going to be there. And look, you can see when you're hitting on 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 many little keywords that have decent keyword scores. That's what you're doing. So, for example, you've got custom couple, family portrait, couple portrait, portrait watercolor, painting from photo, which is a big one. Painting from photo. They give you the photo. You create the painting from it. Uh, family drawing like i said check out my wall art playlist man i got i got something which i did myself and it's very quick to do and you can do this through photoshop right and like i said 
if you can give it a little bit of energy, a bit of time, this is something that's always going to be profitable because people always really want to get a nice like wall art of, of, of themselves as a couple or just getting married or their family. Everyone wants a like, nice style design, um, nice wall art, you know, a personalized wall art, should I say. Now, here's another one, guys. This kind of cowgirl um, trending kind of design. This is a wall art trending. Um, this is just one printable, right? It's one printable kind of cowgirl cowgirl idea in this kind of painted style you can see they're like wearing two the the cowgirl boots there um it's in demand guys it's a bestseller it's an se pick right um now how much is this making it's just one one wall art right it's literally just one thing one not that one that's just telling you about the different sizes you can have but it's literally just that that's all it is but now let's see how much it makes first then i'll explain it a little bit more so this is making it's a four month old listing making three thousand six hundred and sixty dollars is it on a sale so i just want to check something it's not even on sale it's not on a sale guys it's making that much it's crazy it's making that much per month three thousand six hundred and sixty six hundred and ten sales in the last month it's only like was it seven dollars how much is it going for 720 crazy right and i'll tell you why it's doing well now let me tell you why because it's a trending keyword right it's a trending keyword cowgirl is a trending keyword right cowgirl boot print is massive look at this cowgirl boot print if you're going to do a cowgirl boot print right now before it gets busy before it gets saturated do it right now because look you can do it on 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 the mid journey five minutes max right nice little wall art get it get it upscaled boom ready upload it boom check out my video on how to do wall art sizes right and i'll get and i'll show you what the best most common sizes to get it uploaded for done ready check it it's a cowgirl boot print it's a volume of 185 people are typing that per month on etsy it's only got a competition of 1549 that's mad that's absolutely mad just for this keyword alone it's gonna get seen okay fantastic that's it that's why it's a trending keyword that's big right now okay let's go to the next one so check this out man it's the custom birth flower now if you don't know then you must know i'm going to tell you now birth flower birth flower is a popular keyword right now so if you type in birth flower design birth flower wall art birth flower t-shirt birth flower right remember there's a represent representation of a of of the of a flower with every person's uh, every every month that someone's born so for example um, you can see that if you're born in August, your poppy, um, that means a poppy represents the month that you're born in. Um, a water lily is July. Let me double check this though. Is this right? Is this, a, yeah, daisy. Yeah, yeah, because I'm April, so I'm a daisy. <laughs> I'm a daisy. Daffodil is March. January is a carnation. Violet is February. So this represents the month that you're born in right so these flowers represent the month that you're born in and basically that's literally what it is and so people want personalized wall arts for the month that they're born in and this is what this is doing so you can see that in this case it's a bouquet i believe is it a bouquet yeah so it's got the different flowers for the different months that maybe the family was born in okay but it's a it's in a tattoo style now there's a few elements here not only are, is it a digital product in a birth flower wall art style, but it's also a tattoo style, right? It's not a watercolor style. It's not oil painting vintage style. It's in a tattoo line work style. And I think they got some mock-ups to kind of represent like what, what it could be like um, when you get your, you can actually have it as a, as a, as a tattoo, right? Interesting. But also as a wall art. So, Check this out. Let's have a look at this a little bit deeper. It's a bestseller, guys. I mean, look, it's got eight in a basket already. It's a two-month-old listing making 2,319. It's a really interesting angle here, this one. And by the way, this is probably one of the easiest things to produce. And look, when it when it's onto the wall art and it has a tattoo angle, because the tattoo angle seems to also help it. That's another ingredient that's really helping it. In a two-month-old listing making 2,319, you know, um, it's doing something really good. And the thing is, you can produce it real quickly. So I definitely would say this is something, it's like a wild card, I call it. Definitely something to kind of have a go at, have a try at, because you know what? It could make you a lot of money potentially, you know? 
Um, next one, let's have a look at this one. Safari. Ooh, I think I spoke about this before, but it's an Etsy pick. Only one left in the basket. Boom. Now, this one's not a printable, but these, remember, I did a video, I think, on it. And it's about these printables that you can produce on Mid Journey, where you can do these watercolor jungle animals. And you can create these in, like, sets. It's so quick and easy to do. And they are becoming popular. Now, not only this, but you can also combine another element to it, which is like that affirmation. Like affirmations being positive affirmations. Like, I'm strong, I'm smart, I'm intelligent, I can do this, da da da, that kind of thing. Affirmations, right? You can have some words that goes with it. Very interesting angle with this one. Let's just have a look, though. And let's just see where the keywords are at, right? Because this one's interesting, right? This makes $1,595 per month. It's on a, it's a six month old listing. It's an Etsy picks. It is on a sale right now. So you've got to take that into account. But look at the keywords that it's actually trying to rank for. Now it's got, see, this is what I like. I like when there are keyword scores across different keywords, if you like. So, you know, even when it says Safari Nursery, you know, someone types in Safari Nursery, you know, this is going to rank somewhere and it may sell. And look, it's got a decent volume as well. Floral nursery, maybe not so much. Boy nursery room, floral nursery decor. Jungle nursery, yep, that's a decent one. Safari wall art, that's definitely a decent one. And that kind of thing. So when it kind of hits on a few different volumes, it's really good because it spreads where it can be seen. And I think that's very cool. So this kind of idea, have a look, check it out, go and research it. Sets of three is really good. Three safari animals, jungle animals, and then you've got these also affirmations really help it. Okay, let's go to the next one. Boom. Check it out, my. Uh, now, I've gone slightly different now. This is not actually the wall art itself, but these are mid-journey prompts. So mid-journey prompts are basically what I've shown you before is is writing, the, doing the writing to create the visual, right? The prompt, okay? The words to create the visual. So this one is literally giving you the words to create these um, wall arts, these poster designs, right? You get only the words, so you actually go away and, and produce it on Mid Journey yourself. Now the results are not always going to be exactly the same. It's going to it's always going to be slightly different, um, but literally it's going to be something like this. But what's interesting is they're not even selling you the printables; just literally the words. <laughs> so how much is a Mid Journey prompt words are actually making? So this makes four hundred eight dollars. Not too bad. Four month old listing. Again, very interesting angle to the wall art. So. You don't have to sell a printable. You could actually sell the words that create the printable, if you like. Right, let's go to the last one, guys. This is another angle, guys, right? Anybody that knows, knows, right? This is a kind of combination. Again, remember what I'm trying to get at is, is a combination of ideas uh, of, 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 uh, of, of uh, how to combine things to create a good wall art that is, uh, is not saturated, that is sub-niched. Now, if you look at this background, anybody that knows, like I said, knows it's a William Morris is this kind of famous arts and crafts movement back in uh, back in the day. I don't know, 1890 or yeah, that kind of that kind of year over back in the day. Right. Earlier on where he created many different floral designs, very interesting florals like the background of this fox. You know, he did that for furniture also did it for wallpaper also. Um, and, and was, you know, very well renowned in the world at that time in terms of design and crafts and things like that, right? He was uh, based in the UK. And uh, so William, this is a William Morris style uh, fox design. So you got the William Morris element with an animal, right? Created in the style. And even it's touching on that when it says William Morris on the title inspired fox art print, Right? So this is what I'm trying to say, guys. Sometimes you can use inspiration from designers, artists in history, right? As an inspiration only to create something, you know, because people obviously, you know, like those guys. And this, look, I mean, the reason I show you is it's like so profitable. $4,625, six-month-old listing. It's crazy. And if you remember some of my videos, I've done designs in, in, sort of, in the style of different artists. And you can do that in mid-journey as well. So what I'm saying is I just wanted to show you this because I want to show you that there's also another angle where you look at and see that styles that are popular, people like, and combine it with a wall art style that you could do. And in this case, you've got this Fox uh, art print, which is the combo. So guys, I'm going to leave it there. That's 10 really cool, profitable wall art printable ideas 
sub niche that you can start right now get them listed on your store and i hope uh, i hope you enjoyed the video and i hope you found value with the video and as usual if you did please hit the like subscribe smash that notification bell don't forget to check out all the links in my description for everything that i've used including everby to find you all those fantastic keyword scores and also do check out the videos that come in next check out my wall art playlist also that helps you size up all the wall arts that you can sell on etsy and gives you those fantastic other ideas. Guys, take care. See you in the next one.